Welcome back to Terminology Tuesday. Last week, with everything happening with the state park issue, the topic of scrub habitat came up quite often. So I thought today we would discuss what is a natural community and what is a scrub habitat in particular. A natural community is an ecological term that we use to describe an assemblage of organisms. So uh, plants, animals, and more that co-occur across landscapes wherever certain environmental conditions occur. So natural communities are basically ways for us to describe different types of habitats that occur and kind of categorize them. They don't necessarily all, you know, they're all slightly unique in some way. So you can say scrub and it can mean many different things. And in Florida, we actually categorize uh, scrubs into different types of scrubs as well. Scrubs are found on ancient dunes. These are dry, sandy ridges that have very well-drained and infertile sandy soil. And they are usually composed of communities with evergreen shrubs interspersed with open, sandy um, areas and may or may not have some tall pine trees associated with them. We categorize these scrubs by the dominant species found within them. So a sand pine scrub would have a dominant species of sand pine, Pinus clausa. We also have rosemary scrubs, which have a dominant species of Florida rosemary, Ceratiola ericoides. But the most common type of scrub in Florida is oak scrub. And these are dominated by three species of scrubby oak. And those species are Quercus geminata, sand live oak, Quercus myrtifolia, myrtle oak, and Quercus chapmanii, Chapman's oak. Scrub habitat is also a fire dependent community, but unlike many of our other fire dependent communities in Florida, it has a much longer fire return interval. Whereas our uplands, sand hills often burned almost every year to every other year, our scrub habitats burned every five to tw even 20 years, depending on the type of scrub. Scrub is a unique and rare habitat where many endangered and endemic plant and animal species um, reside in. And one of the reasons that there are so many endemic and rare species on them is because a lot of them, these dry high sandy ridges were once islands. And so there was a lot of speciation that happened in them. And because they're such a unique habitat, um, plants and animals have had to evolve unique characteristics in order to persist in them. There was already a very limited amount of scrub habitat in Florida, and we've already lost a lot of it. So we've lost a lot to agricultural industry, especially citrus farming. We've lost a lot to commercial industry and especially to residential um, development as well. Obviously that makes the remaining scrub habitats that we do have all the more important because they are the last refuges for these rare endemic and endangered plants and animals. And so that is one of the reasons why so many people were upset last week and rightly so. That's it for today and I will see you guys again next week.